Okay, it's, it's 5.30. I'm going to call select board meeting to order for Monday, May 6, 2024. Uh, I'm going to start by asking for a motion to reconvene the vicious dog hearing from April 22nd and to move that um, hearing to other business later so, in the meeting. So moved. Second. So I have a, okay, so I have a motion by Chris and a second by George to uh, reconvene the vicious dog hearing and move it to other business. All those in favor? Aye. That would be unanimous, Judy. Any additions or changes to the agenda? None. None. Okay, we have minutes from the 22nd of April. I would move the minutes of April 22nd, 2024. So I have a motion to accept the minutes as uh, presented for April 22nd, Second. 2024. Second by George. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of accepting the minutes? Aye. 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 That would be unanimous as well. Okay, new business. On May 20th, we're canceling the May 20th select board meeting because on... Yeah. No, got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, great. Um, so under new business, May 20th, we're going to cancel the select board meeting from May 20th due to the the election the next day for the school vote. Um, the town clerk's office needs this room. So we would, uh, I would entertain a motion to um, approve the chair to sign the warrants for May 20th, 2024. I would so move. So I have a motion by Chris. Second. Second by Laura. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all those in favor of allowing the chair to sign the warrants for May 20th, say aye. 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 That would be unanimous as well. We have a private road name uh, in front of us and we have an application. I think we have a uh, interested property owner in the audience, Mr. Persico. So the, uh, I think I know exactly where this, this is. So the proposal is to put in, it's a private road. Okay, and just to be clear, if it is a private road, the town has no responsibilities for the upkeep of the road? Okay. Is there any conversation, any, um, any discussion by the board at this point? Um, you know, I read the application and seen where it is. I didn't know if Mr. Persico wanted to talk about it at all, um, but I'm happy either way. Chris, anything? Okay, nothing. And the name of the road is? Horse Haven Hill. Yeah, Horse Haven Hill, private. Horse, Sec heaven. Heaven. S -orb. Horse Heaven. Horse oh. Heaven Hill, thank you. Okay, thank you, Chris. So I would entertain a motion then to uh, accept this application. I would move to accept the uh, Private road naming um, Horse Heaven Hill um, as applied app, app, for, for the applicant uh, for um, this private road. Second? Second that. I have a second by Richard, a motion by Chris. Any discussion? Okay, we have a motion to accept um, the naming of the road Horse ha Heaven Hill. A private road off of Park Street. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Well, we just did that motion. Did we want to just put another motion in? Okay. So I would move to have the chair sign the approval application for four seven Hill. Second. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion as presented? Aye. Aye. That would be unanimous, Judy. And it is uh, May 6th today. Mm -hmm. Pass that over to Judy. 
Cheers. Okay, we also have uh, number three, annual financial plan for the town highways. This is a, an annual statement that we need to submit to the, thank you, Chris, is an annual statement that we need to submit to the state every year. Uh, it was in our packets. Are there any questions? Yeah, this is state aid uh, to highways, is that right, Tina? Yeah, 60 days after you vote to uh, approve the town new budget, you have to do that reporting of what you anticipate spending. And it, it, part of it is the state aid to highways and the other part is taxpayer dollars, but you have to do that to them every year. So it looks like a balance sheet, but the numbers don't balance. Is that an issue? I fixed it. Okay. It's just off by a dollar. It's a revenue right. thing. So is, yeah. it, is it up or down? Is it 2,203 or 203? Three. Okay. Thank you, Tina. So the what, what gets signed tonight? The piece that gets signed doesn't have those figures on it anyway. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, this is an annual thing that, that we do. Every town does this so they can, uh, this is part of our non-taxpayer uh, money that comes into the municipality. Uh, every municipality does this who um, applies for it. So I would make the motion to accept the annual financial plan for town highways. Do I have a second? A second. So I have a motion by Chris and a second by Richard. Any further discussion? I do. Tina, can you check my map? If the total in, in the revenues is 203, yeah. I'm adding the digits and I'm getting to a 12. The same. I, I changed one on that. Which one has changed? Oh, I've got to that. Yeah, there's a new. Jason has it. You're still you're getting a twelve though, and not a three. Yeah, because, no, it's because he doesn't know where I changed. Because the all. miscellaneous is thirty thousand seventy six <coughs> in, in the packet that I've got. Right. Yeah, it was in front. It, it, it was thirty thousand seventy five in my packet. It's thirty. It's really thirty thousand seventy six. Now it adds up. So, Great. Okay. Thank good. you. Yeah, we added that extra dollar. Okay. Good. So we can. Any. No, that's okay. No, we're supposed to know this stuff. <laughs> any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor of the motion as presented, say aye. 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 That would be unanimous. Old business. Um, at our last meeting, we talked about the purchase of a fire truck, um, a class A pumper fire truck. But, and we had that discussion, and the discussion at that point was really just an FYI discussion that the town was going to buy this. Um, truck but we did not we did not uh, pass a motion for us to accept it and to sign for it so to approve and sign so I'm looking for a motion right now to approve the purchase of that class a pipe uh, pumper fire truck um, I would move to um, pass the resolution to purchase the class a pumper fire truck do I have a second second I have a motion by Chris and a second by George. I'm just going to wait for Judy. Thank you so much. So we have a motion by Chris, Judy, and a second by George to approve the purchase of the pumper fire truck and to sign. Any further discussion? You got to pass that down? Yeah, I'm just going to finish this first. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that would be unanimous. Moving on to number seven, approve the warrants. I would make the motion to approve the warrants. I have a motion by Chris to approve the warrants. Second. I have a second by Richard. Any discussion? I do have a question. Uh, I see that we paid out the uh, Vermont State Parks a thousand dollars for rec, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yes. So are we re we're required to prepay? We always pay that sum for the year for them to go to the park. Oh okay. So it's not based it's, on it's a normal thing that just curious. Can. Yeah it's not a no. it's not per kid done. Oh no no done. nothing like that. It's just a flat dollar fee for the summer. Oh, okay, that explains it. Thank you. Just curious. 
You all set? Any other discussion about the warrant? All those in favor of the motion as presented? Aye. 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 That would be unanimous as well. Community comments. Um, just to hold on a second. Um, do you have the, the resolution for us to sign? Yeah, I just make a couple changes. Oh, okay. So it's I just want to make sure you don't forget to do it. You don't forget. Okay. All right. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, if there's any community comments, please come up to the microphone and introduce yourself. Yeah. yeah, Tony Cody, Cody Hill. I just want to voice my displeasure with the highway department. Again, nothing's getting done. Cody Hill is in disarray right now. As you come down towards the bridge, there's twice as much traffic coming up there. There's a pothole like this. It's pretty irritating. For anybody that cares, evidently nobody cares because they don't get fixed. It's it's really bad, you know, that we pay that much taxes and we can't put a little bit of mix in there to, to, to help it out. Are you traveling that road now? I am not. I'm going down yeah. Coal Hill. Yeah. Well, maybe I ought to come up Cody Hill and see what it looks like or come down it, I guess. Because when you got to stop for letting the other car go by, I think it's pretty sad. Is it right where the blacktop meets the dirt? It's right in front of that yellow house. That's only one. You know, I just don't get done. And, and I don't understand why it can't get done. You know, now, now I've, I mentioned something two weeks ago. Nothing gets done, ever. No ditching, no nothing. They tried to ditch something there, I don't know, a month ago. And they made such a mess of it that it's, it's a joke. The whole thing's a joke. And tax bills are due here next week. That makes the taxpayer feel real good. Thank you, Tony. Any other community comments? Go, go ahead, Jamie. What's that? So, uh, James Brewster. Uh, so, at the Spring Do Handle Pit meeting, um, I made some statements about how that project could be run better. Um, and so I'm back. Um, the 15th of February, there were three reports that were due to the state as part of our Act 250 permit. Um, and I follow it, as you know, so I talked to the state and asked them about it. And, you know, long story short, you know, they've received some reports, um, but they're subpar, they're deficient. Um, you know, these are the comments from uh, the district coordinator. Uh, with respect to condition 32, the invasive species report filed is not specific to where treatment was applied, does not include a follow-up inspection, nor is it clear how Mr. Dunkley is qualified. With respect to condition 42, the annual reclamation report includes no information regarding reclamation. And with respect to condition 64, the extraction totals is the same report as the exclamation report. So they submitted the same report twice for two different reports. It includes some of the requested info as to extraction, hours pit opened and closed for season, wind pressure on site, and some noise mitigation. However, the report does not describe the progress of the extraction and certify that the Duhamel pit has been operated in compliance with all the permit conditions during the preceding 12 months, nor is it clear that the report was filed with ANR and the Averys for their errors and assignments. Now, I've been contacting Susan Baird regularly to see if new reports, updated reports have been filed. As of this morning, when I look on the Act 250 database, there have been no updated reports filed. So I feel as though we are still deficient when it comes to these reports. Now, I know what's required in these dot for these reports. They're not hard. They're not difficult. We must have somebody on staff here that should be able to do these reports in an hour or two and send them to the state. I think in talking to Jason a while back, we were gonna hire Tyler Mumley to do this, which seems like a really unnecessary expenditure because these are not difficult reports. I could do them, but I'm not gonna do them because I don't work for the town. So, you know, 
I asked for an update on the situation 10 days ago from the interim town manager. I've heard nothing. Now, Jason is here tonight, so I don't know where the interim term manager is. She may be sick, she may be out, I don't know. But 10 days ago, I asked for an update and I've got crickets. I think that's unacceptable. I think I should be able to hear back from someone within a week on a request for information. So, you know, I'd like to see somebody get these reports in, get them done. You know, and as far as that goes, I guess I'll just end with the fact that, you know, several meetings ago, I asked for a town manager report at these meetings and that still isn't happening. And I think that's unfortunate because I think the interim town manager, I'm sorry, she's not here to hear that, has a very different opinion about what we as the town are looking for in that position. And we're just not getting it. She said, well, I couldn't get to it last time. Well, that's a pretty important thing to me to hear what's going on. And it just seems to get pushed off, pushed off and excuses and excuses. So I guess, you know, in closing, I think we can do better. And I'd like to see us do better. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie, I'll just say that uh, I, I do Hamill's important to me as well. And so I will follow up with this on, with Carrie. You I know, I've, I've filed two reports with Susan in the last four weeks. When I spoke to Susan, and maybe Susan Barrett has received them and they haven't been uploaded yet. Um, yeah, but I can talk if, to you. If they're in, that's more. great. But we could have done better from the beginning. And as an educator, Don, I ask you to take a look at what was submitted initially and see if you really think, as an educator, that's something that this town manager should be signing their name to. Because I wouldn't sign my name to. Thank you, Jamie. Yep. I, I will, I promise I will follow up on it. Um, any other community comments? Yes, Jerry. Jerry Throne. Uh, I recall maybe as far back as a year ago, uh, there was discussion about the uh, old gas station property and possibly realigning, uh, the, the, you know, with Congress Street. And I haven't heard anything. Uh, there was supposed to be an engineering study, and, and, and I don't know whether it's gone any further. Can you uh, clue us in, let us know what uh, may have been done or not done? That's a very good question, Jerry. I can't clue you in. I can't answer that question. You are correct. There was a study that was going to be done. We did authorize it here for the select board. Um, that's, another, that's another good question for Carrie to see where that is. Um, Hopefully it didn't get lost in the mix between when Eric was here and when Carrie came along. But I think about it every time I go by that property. And I, I will say, I'll just, if I can just finish, I, uh, I am thankful that our property owners there have taken it upon themselves to make that a very nice looking piece of property compared to what it could be. I, I do remember having a conversation with Todd and I, I'm, well, I won't go further with that because I'm, I'm not sure what all was said there. But I, I, it is a good question: what, 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 uh, where that, what, what the status of that property is. Um, I'm happy to speak to that because I actually spoke to the owner of that property. Okay. So, um, because there was there were several questions um, with. Um, um, I would say that it's currently on hold. Um, there's lots of factors going into that because there were other people that were looking to use that property. Um, and the gentleman said at this point that, um, that, you know, because there's so many different factors going on, that particular situation you're talking about uh, involves lots of different parties and it's literally a matter of moving land around and uh, it becomes very legally complicated because of Cumberland Farms and because the people behind it. Um, so uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened with the study, um, but I don't think there's a lot of interest moving forward because um, of the properties that are around it. Just well, you, you we can I, pursue you it. You and I were both sort of designated to, yeah. to look into that. There was a proposal 
um, that include uh, included the road bending into um, you know, the four corners alignment. And there was some um, housing proposed on the Cumberland side of that. Um, the feasibility of doing all that and the expense of moving the road and who was going to pay for what and what they wanted to do with the adjacent property and knowing that Cumberland Farms may object to something uh, blocking their entrance on Congress Street. It, my recollection was is that the owner of that property basically just kind of stepped away and it died on the vine and nothing else was proposed. That's, that's exactly what uh, I wasn't sure if I could legally speak for him, but the, the probably biggest factor is that they would lose that side driveway, Cumberland Farms would, um, in, the, in the design. And um, it felt they, it was spoken to me that, that, that there was anticipated legal issues with, with that, because that's a big driveway. Um, and the fact that nobody knows what the building behind is. Um, so I, I do think the gentleman is a wonderful gentleman. He has a uh, vested interest in this town and is looking to do something uh, great in this town. It's just that um, currently with interest rates and everything and that he's just waiting for a bit until, um, but consequently that's why he keeps it um, green for us and looking nice because he understands what a value that property is. Thank you for the You're welcome. Yeah, good. Thanks, Jerry. Any other community comments? Sheila Tarbox, Cody Hill. I know you probably can't answer this, but just think about it and talk to somebody. But why is it that Tony has to call the department, highway department up and talk to, what's his name? I don't know, the supervisor, not Kevin, the other one, and ask him to come up and fix the road. Now, does anybody else up at Cody Hill call and ask? And the next day, they're always there, but they only have graded it, that's it. And they ruined our friend's property by trying to dig that culvert out. They broke the culvert and they never even dug out the other side. So nothing is flowing up there. And you can all come up and see it. And there are many, many culverts that are buried when you walk down. I walk down there almost every day to the end of the road and back. I check all the cul culverts. I've taken pictures. I've sent them to Carrie. No answer. You know, they're all, and I know Cody Hill is not the only one that needs to be fixed, but how can anything flow if it's blocked? And they ruined that guy's lawn. And you might hear from him. He keeps saying he's going to, but I don't know if he's shy or what's going on with him. So that's what I've got to say is how come? It only gets fixed if Tony calls. Thank you. Thank you. Other community comments? Remind the board to move your mics. We speak. I'm getting messages from Green Mountain TV that they can't hear everybody. Person you are, make sure your mics are near you. Thank you. Will do. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, moving on. Schedule. So Monday, as I said earlier, the May 20th meeting will be canceled. Uh, we do our next select board meeting will be June 3rd and June 17th. Those will be regular select board meetings. Going into other business. So not not till June uh, June 3rd. Not till June 3rd. No. Am I correct that our new manager will be on board then? I that's certainly my understanding that um, Brent, who's in the audience, and I, I was going to say this before, but you know the comments that the community shared. Uh, have been heard loud and clear by our new town manager. So um, thank you for you know bringing him up to speed on, on some of those issues. I believe the official date is the 2nd, is that correct? Actually, it's uh, the 28th after the 
Oh, okay. After Memorial Day. Woo! Oh, it's right around the corner. <laughs> Three Thank weeks you. away. Thank you for being here, Brent. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to move to other business. Deliberative session, our vicious dog hearing. Thank you, Richard. So I have a motion to go into deliberative session. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second by... Second. Second by Laura. Any discussion? Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. We need a motion, Richard, to go into deliberative session and to invite... Judy Elberry, Judy Elberry, Jason Luno, Jason Luno and our new town manager. Town manager Brent. 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 <laughs> that guy. Are you okay with that new motion? Yes. Is there any discussion about this motion? All those in favor of the motion as presented? Aye. 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 That would be unanimous. Thank you very much, everybody.